Hi Pisces, welcome to your general forecast for the month of April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, we're going to take a look at the energy around you this time. So it could be general, it could be love, it could be work, career, finances. I'm just going to take the energies as they come. So please only take it how it resonates for you. It may or may not resonate with every single person out there. Please keep that in mind. If it's not your story, if it's not making sense for you, then it is not your reading. So please don't leave me um, negative comments. Uh, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And this is for male or female watching. This could be past, present, or future energies. Or it could be someone around you also. So please keep that in mind. If this doesn't resonate for you, Pisces, you could check the description box below for your um, Love in General playlist. Feel free to go back. Uh, maybe something there resonate for you. Um, I do consider them all timeless, even though they're dated. So please feel free to check that out also. And also down below in the description box, you will find um, my social media links, how to reach out for personal reading if you would like to do that, decks I'm using, and links to purchase them for yourself if you choose to. And if you would like to tip, donate, send a gift, energy exchange, that info is below as well. Some of that is pinned to the top comment. If you're not comfortable using PayPal or you don't have PayPal during the Super Chat, <laughs> during the Premier only, Super Chat is open and available for tips, energy exchanges, if you choose to. And if you do, thank you. So I hope everybody's doing well at this time. Hope you are uh, staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what we have for Pisces. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet. And we'll see what comes out for you here. Scorpio, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, I'm sorry. I just did Scorpio. This is for Pisces, Pisces. All right, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces, Spirit, please? Thank you so much for Pisces. There we go. So we have air energy. So you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or... You could have air in your chart or you know somebody has heavy air in their chart. But here, uh, air energy is all about the mind. It's about clarity, communication, ideas, thoughts, imagination, clear communication, honesty, truthfulness kind of energy also. And we do have seven there, which is um, divinely guided spiritual energy. All right, so let's see. You could have clear thinking, clear thoughts at this time, ideas, um, creativity, intuition. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Everything to do with the mind and communication. All right, so first thing I'm going to do here, Pisces, is getting get an opening message for you. So what is the opening message for Pisces? And then I'll pull another card for your energy. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot. Then we'll look at your actual situation, whatever comes out here. And then uh, advice, possible outcome. I'll go over all the bottoms of the decks, get some extra messages there with work your light at the end. So what is the opening message for Pisces? What is the opening message for Pisces? We got two here, so I just want one. Oh, I'm gonna put them back. I want one, so one card for Pisces. The message is message most needed for Pisces at this time. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. There we go. Oh, we have the Queen of Light. Illumination, enlightenment, and celebration. If 15 is 6, it's all about healing and balance. So, reminds me of the sun energy. But, you know, the air there can all be about having a clear mind, clarity. So that is all about illumination, maybe things coming to light. Enlightenment, being enlightenment, clear thinking. Um, but then celebration, so celebrating something. So... Let's see, getting big clarity, illumination, and enlightenment about something, are we? Which is a cause for celebration. Hmm. All right. All right. What is your energy? So we have the diamond dreamer. 
material wealth and true prosperity we have six again six again for healing and balance so you have something coming your way here material wealth and true prosperity coming in for you and maybe you've been illuminated or enlightened to that fact for some reason which leads to a cause for a celebration hmm bottom of the deck here we have the arrow master hitting the mark intention and detachment we have 10 there which is an ending uh, completion of something and there's always a new beginning this card always reminds me of sagittarius so you could be dealing with sagittarius could be detaching from something also but this is about intention so something you are intentionally doing or knowing true intentions of something or someone else but somebody's hitting the mark here or is intending to hit the mark in some way shape or form huh all right let's see what's going on with all this energy for you pisces what's going on with pisces what is this queen of light the diamond dreamer maybe you've always dreamed of, of being uh, wealthy and pros prosperous here Something finally hit the mark. Something finally arrow master. So somebody had uh, plans, intentions uh, here. But there's detachment also. So let's see what's going on. What is going on for you, Pisces? What is all this energy about for Pisces, please? Thank you so much. Wow. Okay, I'm not taking that. So we have the two of wands, so being kind of at a crossroads and needing to make plans and decisions for the future, which direction to go in, that will lead, and I have said that reminded me of the sun. And here's the sun here, so I can't make this up. So what direction do I choose? Do I intentionally choose that will bring me total success, victory, joy, happiness, enlightenment, enlightenment, happy home and family, um, healing energy. What is the best option for you that will give you this material wealth and true prosperity? And it may not be actual material wealth, just happiness, joy, success, victory, feeling abundant in all ways, not just material, monetary. All right, so let's see here. What else for this energy? What else? It's like you want to hit the mark, like you want to make the right decision. <clears throat> and you want to intentionally make the right decision, but you may need have you may need to detach from something here first. I'm feeling to get to your true happiness, perhaps. So we do have the nine of cups here, which is happiness, joy, fulfillment, wishes and dreams coming true. So you're standing at this crossroads at this path. Which direction path do I choose that will lead me to my nine of cups? We do see a couple here. I mean, nines to me always represent like a single energy independent, but you could still be with somebody and be independent in your own right. Prince of Pentacles energy here. So I believe this is the page of Pentacles. So this is an offer or very stable communication or good news or offer coming in or learning something new. A page uh, can be about, pages can be young, can be youthful, can be students. Um, but it's stable, grounded, and secure. It's something you can trust. So let's see what else for your energy here. Five of Pentacles. So feeling lonely, abandoned, and left out in the cold. That could be that detached energy getting you know feeling detached from something but yet feeling a little you know cold neglected here so that could be why you're at a crossroads i feel like you could have detached yourself from something now being at a crossroads now feeling like alone and abandoned but yet you know you need to move on and choose a path a road that will lead you to total abundance and happiness and wish fulfillment. All right, what else here? The tower. Yeah, so there could have been a shake up, blow up, breakdown of some kind here. Epiphany, aha moment, surprise. 
So I feel like attached to the Five of Pentacles, I feel like whatever blew up or broke down or was shaken up here, that, because you see people running out of a building, out of this building. So I feel like whatever situation you detach yourself from, it happened for a reason. The universe brought it in because it's meant to lead you to your true happiness and wish fulfillment down the road. But you intentionally need to choose the right path that is meant for you. So illumination, enlightenment. So again, I feel like listening to your intuition, your higher knowing. Energy also. Learning everything you need to know before you make a decision here. So you can hit the right mark. And intentionally make the right decision. So I definitely feel like the tower here and the five of pentacles, there was a detachment of some kind for you could have been from a lover a relationship a friend a family member or something here i feel like out on your own now all right so what is your situation what's going on here for you pisces what is your situation so we have the queen of pentacles energy so being very abundant you know smart practical uh, stable energy, caring, giving, nurturing kind of energy. It could be a mother. I did say the prince could be uh, also a child, so you could actually have a child. Maybe you're going off on your own now with a child. But we do have the three of cups. could be two children, you and two children, male or female, however it resonates for you. But the three of cups is usually about reuniting, celebrating, coming together kind of energy. So I'm def definitely seeing like a mother or a father with two children. All right, so let's see what else here. You Pisces. And usually I wouldn't get that message, but for some reason um, that's how I'm interpreting it today. So what else here? Now we have the King of Pentacles. So now we have a matching couple. We have a matching couple. Wow. Wow. I feel like you're in search of your match. That's what I feel. You may have been with somebody in the past that you thought was your match, but the universe stepped in here to crumble it down to say, no, that's not your true match. They've enlightened you and now sent you on this conquest to find your true match, your true match to who you truly are. This is a matching couple, a divine couple, the king and queen of pentacles. All right, so what else here? What else here? And it does say material wealth and true prosperity. And we have the king and queen of pentacles here. So whatever path you choose to go down, there will be celebrating because we do have celebration there. It will lead you to either a new person. It could be a business partner, a lover here who is someone who could be an entrepreneur, own their own business or something like that. But I also feel like you have the smarts and the know-how and the ability to also bring something to the table, to his table, to even have more abundance, wealth, and prosperity. Wow. So, and this person may see that in you also. So what else here for Pisces? What else here for this current situation? The Eight of Pentacles, so working, working together, I feel like. I feel like a power couple business couple, power couple, whatever here, working together, celebrating, having wealth, abundance, prosperity, success, victory, enlightenment, whatever blew up for you in the past was divinely guided for you to send you on this journey of total fulfillment and success in every single way. And you might not have felt that at the time because you did have the five of pentacles energy there of feeling you know, neglected, abandoned, left out in the cold, lonely, hurt, unsure of where you were going, what you were going to do, what path were you going to choose here. So what else here for your current situation? Prince of Wands. So this is the... Let me see here. All right, I think the Prince of Pentacles here is the Knight. So I think there's princesses and 
princes and the princesses are the peach. Okay, so this is the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, that's <clears throat> that's actually taking slow, grounded, sturdy movement, stable movement forward. Very slow, smart, practical steps to your wish fulfillment. After again, there's there was a breakdown, shake up of some kind where you were off on your own. And we do have the Prince of Wands here again. It's the Knight of Wands, so that's fiery, you know, justice. There could have been a divorce or something like that. Um, something in the justice system or separation here but um prince of wands so fiery passionate movement action forward i feel like two people here working together very passionate about what they do and you know striving to move forward very passionately and being in a very celebratory energy together wow okay all right, so I feel like this hasn't happened already or you're in this journey now. It's like you, I feel like you don't see a way out of this. Like you don't know what's in store for you. You don't know what's going to happen. Where do you go from here after this been, you know, it's kind of breakdown, divorce or a shakeup or something. But I feel like you, you're going to meet your match here. And you're going, you're going down a road you've never been down, I think, here, Pisces. So, yeah. So you're changing worlds. You're closing out one cycle. This is your advice to close out one cycle. Start a whole new cycle in life here. Now we have the Knight of Swords, which is uh, very fast-paced. This is going to happen very, very quickly. Prince of Swords, a very fast-moving knight. So this is going to happen very quickly and you may not see it coming. You don't know where you're going. You don't know what's going to happen. Once you choose a path and you go down that path and you feel like it's right for you, then boom, it happens very quickly. Queen of Wands. So now we have the Queen of Wands, very fiery, passionate energy, king or queen. Go get her. They go after what they want. A lot of drive, ambition. So it's telling you to go after what you want here. A lot of drive, ambition, and passion to change like changing lanes, like, you know, changing your world, happening very quickly. Seven of Cups, still feeling a little confused, though. You may still feel a little confused um, about this whole situation. Like, what is happening here? Like, you may not believe it. But I see it happening very quickly. It's telling you as confused as you may feel or as distraught as you may feel that what is coming in for you is a change of your world completely and uh, happening very quickly. So go after it. A lot of drive ambition. All right. So what is a possible outcome here for Pisces? Possible outcome here for Pisces. The Two of Swords, so feeling, you're still going to feel a little indecisive about this and not sure, is this really happening? Uh, can I trust this? Is this right? I just don't know. Feeling a little unsure. What else? But here's divine energy coming in saying this is truth, clarity. Um, and that's that air energy of the Ace of Swords, a successful new beginning based on truth, clarity, um, Honest, open communication, cutting away things no longer serving you. Standing up for yourself, telling it like it is. Epiphany, aha moment. Spiritual awakening, of, awakening of some kind. So just know here, this divinely guided energy, air energy is coming in for you. All right, so what else? Shining enlightenment, and we have enlightenment right there. Illumination. Sword is totally illuminated. It will be illuminated to you, even though you're not sure there. You will be like enlightened and illuminated in some way, shape, or form, and knowing, okay, this is the real deal. This is the real thing. This is the right thing for me. Again, the moon energy, yeah. So we got the two energies here of the moon, of Feeling uh, a little insecure, having fear, not seeing the path clearly, feeling a little disillusioned and not sure. 
But look how bright this Ace of Sword is to tell you this is truth, clarity, divine intervention, what is meant for you, divinely guided, the Ace of Swords. All right, so what's on the bottom of the deck? The Two of Cups. So I feel like you're going to be coming into a soulmate union in the future here with your uh, equal, someone who was equal to you, who was your perfect match, soulmate union. Seven of Pentacles, you've been waiting for this. Even if you were in a situation in the past, maybe you felt like it wasn't total and total even match as you know it might have been good but maybe you felt like you know it still wasn't a total match of me you know and now for the future like geez i don't know if i want to invest in this two of cups again but here's your successful four of wands commitment marriage um home stability in every single way coming in here and there's your energy, feeling like totally in love, happiness, joy, compassion, peace, harmony kind of energy, nurturing, caring, giving kind of energy, wheel of fortune, so fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in a better direction, things getting better, going in your favor, six of wands, success, victory, accomplishment in every single way. Though you've had a lot of inner conflict about this, about this coming in for you and needing to make a final judgment call for giving in the past and moving on and from the conflict making a judgment call and feeling that inner conflict but this will lead to your ten of cups total happiness joy fulfillment in every single way you've waited for this with the three of wands all your life and it's finally here someone again will be your match now we got the king and queen of wands we have the king and queen of pentacles um so we have someone here it will be your match Twice that comes up in the Two of Cups. So we have the King of Wands here, which is Sagittarius. So there could be any sign, but I'm going to read the sign so that makes uh, sense to anybody. Scorpio, Sagittarius again. Queen of Cups here, which is Cancer. King or Queen. Um, let's see here. We have your energy here with uh, the Moon is Pisces. The Queen of Wands energy here is Aries. Um, the Knight of Swords, which is Aquarius. The World, which is Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. The Queen of Pentacles here, which is, just thinking for a minute here, Capricorn again. Sometimes it's hard to remember. Libra. Knight of Wands here, which is Leo. Let's see. King of Pentacles here, which is Virgo. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, we did have the King and Queen of Pentacles. It's a lot of matching couples here. Uh, Queen of Pentacles here, which is Capricorn. Aries. We have the Knight of Pentacles, which is Taurus. So a lot of different Leo up there with the sun. And that reminds me of Leo with the sun. So a lot of different uh, signs here. So let's see. Let's see. Whatever destruction of the past leads you to a better future. <laughs> so as strange as that may sound. All right. So... Let's see, let's get some extra messages here for you Pisces with this deck. I do ask Pisces if you knew, you like my style and how I read, feel free to check out my channel. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments so the bell you won't miss out. Get about five readings a month. Get a love reading, a general reading like this. You get a singles love reading. You get messages from spirit, what you need to know at this time. Then I do a bonus reading where I take a look at love life and advice for you for the month so if you're interested in all that hit the bell you won't miss out and if you do thank you so what are the extra messages here closing messages for pisces share your voice come out of the cave persecution and expression hmm so if that means anything to anybody where if you felt like you've been silenced in the past or you couldn't speak up or speak out now you may be having the opportunity to do that, sharing your voice. All right, what else here for Pisces? For Pisces. 
don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? This is telling you to be yourself, be who you truly are. And then we have Arama, Im, Imrama. Where are you being called to journey to? So I definitely feel like that. You're going on a new journey, like a whole new cycle of life. And Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. So this is divinely orchestrated for you, uh, especially with the Ace of Swords here. Justice, getting justice, receiving justice. I feel like this is all divinely guided energy for you, especially we had the wheel there um, under the deck. So whatever happened in the past here that you're moving on from and you think, you know, things are at its lowest, it's at its worst. How could things get any better? Your future, what's to come, is even going to be better than you ever imagined or that your past was. Not that your past was bad, but whatever's coming in for you, you never, you will never have dreamed that you could have what you're going to have here in the future, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.